What is up guys, it's the Sound Alchemist, part of One Mind Syndicate, and today I'm back to talk about Warhammer 40k. So today I'm going over the many various ways to play this awesome game of grim dark sci-fi battles that can be played in a variety of ways I, that I've said already. So basically, the reason why I'm talking about this is because this has been the longest break that Gersh and I have from playing 40k since we dropped it back in middle school. So let's start off in the past and then I'll make my way to that. So a quick little review. Gershwin and I played Warhammer 40k back in middle school when we were at our local mall and there was a games workshop store and one of the employees kind of lured us in and showed us the awesome miniatures and whatnot. And then came Gershwin's birthday which we decided to go into that store and another friend of ours, we all pitched in and bought a Space Wolf uh, just like a regular infantry set. We ended up splitting it three models each with Gersh getting four because of course it was his birthday. And that's how our deep dive into this awesome universe began. <clears throat> when we first started playing 40k, we saw the rule book, we saw people playing it, and we thought this is way too complicated. There's like a thick ass rule book. And for some reason, when we were looking at people play, like in person, this guy was talking about the fucking atmosphere and how that affected the way that his warriors shot. And I'm just like, if we have to think about the atmosphere, like this is way too convoluted. So we decided to make our own game and it was essentially checkers and 40 with 40k minis. <laughs> um, we would make like grid patterns on like big pieces of cardboard. We would like black out some boxes like you can't step there and we'd like glue rocks to the actual cardboard. I mean, we were in middle school, we were kids, so like we did the best we could. And um, that's where we decided to make rules, like, oh, only this guy can move four squares, or this guy can only move diagonal. So it was kind of like chess and checkers. Um, and then we stopped playing. Uh, and then a few years later, we picked up fifth edition. Um, or actually, no, we stopped playing for a little bit, and then we decided to go full on in make armies i went with the tau i loved the tau like they just looked really cool and gershwin went with the orcs we played a little bit of fifth edition but at that time the tau <laughs> just got wrecked <laughs> like it was very easy for them to just get clobbered in close combat and of course the orcs that's what they do so from that point on we skipped all of sixth edition and we went back into 40k at the very tail end of 7th leading into 8th and since then our group of friends has gotten bigger and whatnot so normally when you play warhammer 40k you play the most recent edition and it's a 1v1 type game that's the easiest way that's what it's meant for that's what the rule book talks about at least back in the day nowadays they have missions and, and other things there that could include another player or could include a variety of scenarios that have other people manning certain units and whatnot. Not as much as you would think, there's maybe like one or two scenarios like that. Um, I know like Mini Wargaming and other YouTube channels that actually do battle reports and such. For the most part it's a 1v1 or 2v2. Uh, very rarely do you see like 3v3s or 4v4s because at that point the game gets much convoluted and the rules don't really account for that and the games just take way too long trust us because for a very long time we used to do three-way 40k battles and once you got up to like those 1500 point games 2000 point games like it would take at least four hours for a game to finish um and that is just too much because you gotta find a whole afternoon to you know sit and dedicate to 40k you gotta make sure your friends bring all their models. Transporting the models may be another issue too if they don't have like ample ways to store and carry them and if they get broken and yeah it's a whole headache. But we played 3v like 1v1v1 3-way 40k for a long time and it's fun like I said but again like what happens when your opponents are in close combat? Are you allowed to shoot into that since they're both your enemy? Um, 
can you charge in? And it's like <laughs> the order of who gets to attack first and whatnot gets really confusing. It's fun, but it is <laughs> it is just a little clusterfuck, I, I, I'd say. Um, more recently, in like 8th edition and 9th edition, we've gotten another player to finally say, yes, I'll put time, effort, money into buying an army, getting the new rules, getting them built, getting them painted, getting them on the battlefield, which is a lot to do for 40k. Because in, opin- in my opinion, that's like the hardest thing to have a new player do, because it's a lot. You got to research all the armies, find out what you want to build. Is it competitive? You want to have the codex, you want to have the rule book, and then find a color scheme and then build it <laughs> and it's like i said it's it's a hassle for new players very a daunting experience but once you get to that point where they're ready to have their army in play since it was four of us we're like well let's do a four-way free-for-all 1v1v1v1 and if you thought three ways were crazy this was just whoo um but we all wanted to play together and you know spend time you know have fun with friends and whatnot and play 40k together so we did a few games like that and they take a long time and often it's like it either becomes like one person splits their army up and then just gets systematically (laughs) taken by everybody else that didn't split their army up or it becomes a 1v1 1v1 on both sides and then the victor of those two 1v1s go at each other and whoever has the most models left alive really takes it um too many times it it just takes too much time and like we're six hours in we're hungry we're tired and we basically call it at the end of like bottom of turn three or top of turn four so 40k isn't really meant to be played with multiple people um you could do like 2v2s and just have like 500 points on both time on both teams so it's like a thousand points against each other those are a little bit faster um but if you really want to play 40k with multiple people, maybe Kill Team is the right way of using it. Um, Kill Team is a skirmish type game, and I haven't played the newest edition of Kill Team, which I heard really changed the game from what it used to be. Um, so I don't know exactly how smooth or how well that could go with multiple people, but at least back when Kill Team first came out, it seemed to be pretty quick, pretty fun, and it'd be easy to throw in another player or two and make the game a little bit more interesting um the other option was we also played a little little bit of age of sigmar because obviously a few of the armies such as like chaos is the exact same thing from 40k to age of sigmar just with different rules like the models are the same so it's easy to go from one to the other or if you want to just just pick up sigmar armies and play that way we did that as well And I feel like Age of Sigmar is a lot more fun than 40k when you have multiple people in it because of the rule that you don't just go back and forth like, okay, player A goes and player B goes and player A goes and player B. You have the option of maybe player A goes, then player B, then player B, then player A, and throwing another person in there really makes things uh, interesting and fun. But what we found was the best is uh, basically... It's a three-person game where you have to attain points and then you use these points to barter with player three. So it's it's a player one versus player two with player three being like a mercenary. So then secretly you say, okay, so I've collected 10 points turn one. Um, I'm going to offer up seven so that the mercenary can be on my turn or my friend for the next turn. And essentially it's a 2v1. Now, your opponent's also doing that and trying to barter the most points, and the mercenary cannot win. So he's basically strategically thinking, which person am I going to ally with, and like, how is the points going to take? So it's a lot more political in that sense, where it's not just a free-for-all, you know, balls to the wall, like, everybody against everybody. There is some thinking where it's like, yeah, I'm not going to offer any points to the mercenary, because I need these points to win at the end of the game. But then, if the mercenary does take the offer of the other person, then it's a 2v1 scenario. So it's like, and this changes every every game turn. So the mercenary may be your friend for the first two uh, game turns, but turn three, he might be against you. And at that point, the way the models have positioned on the the 
table might be not in your advantage. So it's like you gotta think ahead and think of what the mercenary might do and what your opponent's doing at the same time, all while trying to get points and bartering. And I think that is the best way of playing Warhammer with multiple people, more than two. Um, so I think that's going to be an interesting way. We haven't done it for 40k for some reason. like. But let me know your guys' experiences playing Warhammer 40k. Has it always been, you know, 1v1s, playing the latest edition, playing meta armies? Or if you have a lot of people, do you do, you know, three-way free-for-alls, team matches, uh, kill teams? Or you guys can also play, like, hero mode, where you guys just get, like, one hero and give them more wounds and just have it like coliseum type battle um so let me know what other ways of playing 40k you guys have besides just the standard cookie cutter way that gw throws out and um yeah can't wait to see your replies maybe we'll try out some of these in the future i'll let you guys know if your way of playing 40k is really better than what gw recommends so again, guys, thank you for listening, and I can't wait to read your replies. This has been The Sound Alchemist, part of One Mind Syndicate, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.